promise, the government has delivered a balanced budget. It contains few frills and is heavily invested in Families First. Today's budget, Mr. Speaker, we are building on that with a number The Finance of Minister has introduced a 2% income tax increase for those earning more than $150,000 beginning January 1st. Medical services plan fees will increase by 4% also January 1st. Corporate taxes will increase 1% effective April 1st. And a carton of cigarettes will increase by $2 on October 1st. We have, uh, particularly in the first uh, couple of years, modest surpluses. Um, and uh, those surpluses are significant uh, both in terms of uh, managing our debt to GDP ratio but also uh, in terms of any uh, additional flexibility uh, we may wish uh, to have. The budget is heavily invested in the Families First initiative. It provides a one-time grant of $1,200 for children born in 2007 and it will provide an early childhood refundable tax credit of $660 for families with children under six years of age, effective April of 2015. $32 million will be set aside for child care spaces and $18 million has been set aside for kids arts programming. DeYoung says the budget also has some modest spending. The uh, Sports and Arts Legacy and Creative Futures uh, funding, uh, $13 million. Uh, the Agricultural Land Commission will be uh, receiving uh, some additional monies in the neighbourhood of $4 million to deal with some of the pressures uh, they have in processing in a timely way uh, applications. However, the opposition says the budget is flawed and reminded British Columbians that past Liberal budget targets have not been met, especially in election years. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.